Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, Coaster Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a spectacular Halloween update, where today we're going to be looking at the official reveal Thor Park Fright Nights 2021. I've officially done, well, I've uploaded the teaser video from Thought Park social media. Now I'm going to analyze the lineup in general because since the video went up from the Thought Park social media accounts on the Fright Nights reveal, we've had some extra information on the brand new scare maze. So please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click that case bell so you never miss YouTube video. Trust me, new content is coming. I'm so sorry it's been uh, a, li a little while uh, since new content's come out. It's just because of you know it's just because of work literally i'm just working these shifts so um once i've got the energy to really pump out the content again trust me i am doing that right now also guys check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel and for now guys let's analyze the fright nights lineup for thought park resort 2021 and trust me if this if this does not want you, does not force you to get up off your sofas, off your couches, off your little deck chairs and go and experience Fright Nights like I'm being forced to, trust me, there's something wrong. So we are going to start with Scare Mazes. Now we're not going to talk about the new maze straight away. We're going to talk about the two returning mazes. Uh, so, first of all, Platform 15 and of the line that sounds very interesting indeed so all aboard platform 15 thought parks one-way halloween train uh, final call for all passengers depart on a one-way ticket and trek along the overgrown railway line the last known route of the vanished locomotive the notorious sleeper express don't lose your tracks and risk disturbing the altered souls that were once aboard. Can you outrun what lies here at the end of the line or will your journey terminate here at Platform 15? Now from the name Platform 15 end of the line, this sounds to me like this is the last year of Platform 15, which makes me want to go and travel from Donny to London even more for this event. So, to experience Platform 15, which has been at Fort Park Fright Nights for a good few years now, would be an absolute dream this Halloween. So I'll make it if I can. But Platform 15, end of the line, uh, is taking place this year at Thought Park Fright Nights. Sounds like it's the last year of Platform 15. Should be interesting to see what they're going to do with the Canada Creek Railway uh, train that's used for the Sleeper Express during the maze. So, should be interesting to see what they're doing with that uh, after Platform 15 is over. Maybe a brand new railway themed maze comes into play, but we will see exactly what happens with all of that bingo next up creek freak massacre returns in full the most intense halloween maze is back uh, at fright night so for those of you who don't know the story i would say a little story so how much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop you hacking their way back into the now abandoned creek wood sawmill the buckwheats are back with a vengeance brace yourself and prepare for the gruesome worst as you take on the chainsaw building maniacs will you that's right you behind the camera survive the madness if you're looking for a maze that scares you and I mean truly terrifies you this extreme maze experience is said to be the most intense scare maze in the uk that is a crucial statement let's see if they go on that word this is no scary maze game this is the ultimate halloween maze attraction brace yourself and prepare for the worst you take on the gruesome chainsaw massacre madness that lies within creek freak massacre we're done playing scary games this is the most extreme scare maze thought park has ever opened again it's not included in the entry ticket requiring an additional paid ticket that's fine if they need to try and make a bit more money to make ends meet so what if this goes towards funding to keep them stable that's perfect or keep the chain stable or more even more stable that is perfect uh, so 
there we go creek freak massacre returns in full there is more creek freak fun with the scare mazes as uh, with the zone sorry and i will go on about that a little bit later on but now the time has come let's go and check out exactly what's going down with the brand new maze for 2021 and that is of course trailers a terrifying new scare maze experience first of all the logo is stunning for this uh, immerse yourself in the dimension of nostalgia as you take your seat and journey into a gruesome spying chilling collection of horror classics but will you make it past the trailers where does the power of film come to life this halloween at super spac cinema uh, a picture house with a shocking reputation from demonic monsters to killer clowns no fear will go unmissed as you find yourself stuck inside a never-ending loop of terror with no escape so grab your ticket and tuck into your popcorn the trailers are about to begin and of course with the rest of the two mazes it requires an additional paid ticket which can be booked online the trailers maze ticket uh, is 10 pounds online and that's for a single use entry so uh comment down below what your thoughts are on the prices but on, honestly from the sounds of it this gives me classic um studio 13 vibes from the old asylum site uh, which of course jungle escape again and they're going to reuse the studio 13 soundtrack dum 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 da, na, na, na. It, it could they could reuse the studio 13 soundtrack it could literally be that cool uh so i think this could be a wonderful uh direction for the maze to go in traveling inside the super spark cinema and i think this is a wonderful idea by thought pack resorts the island like normal the darling uh now let's have a look at all the scare may uh, scare zones uh that will be featured in the event so of course in terms of scare zones we have four we have the crows of morkin meadow take a walk through the cursed village of morkin meadow and unearth the origins of the infamous crows tread carefully through the darkened fields of corn and hope your presence does go on unnoticed those folk don't take well to outsiders next up We've got Lycanthorpe versus Amity High Love Bites, a werewolf and vampire scare zone. The bloodthirsty teens of Amity High are partying in the old speedway. Vibes wear high until the students of Lycanthorpe great crash the celebrations, reuniting the vicious view between the rival schools. No one knows how this bit of rivalry starts or how it will end. About amid the chaos, our two star-crossed lovers kept apart by this toxic feud. They will say, love conquers all. Will it win this time? Or will the night end in tragedy? Next up, the Swarm Invasion returns from Fright Night Festival 2020. Uh, it enters the dystopian wasteland after dark as the swarm has invaded, leaving a path of carnage and desolation in its wake. Head with caution as you pass through this alien infested landscape and pray you aren't abducted by these otherworldly extraterrestrials. The swarm invasion, the end is not near, the end is now. And finally, Creek Freaks Unchained Scare Zone returns from Fright Night's Festival 2020. The blades of Creekwood Sawmill are spinning once again and the deranged Buttwheat family are re back wreaking havoc to, in their pursuit to find new recruits. Watch your back as you pass these vindictive lumberjacks and hope you can make it out the other side. Very exciting Scare Zone experiences there. Now it's time for the other things you can do at Fright Nights 2021. So there are four other things you can do. First up, the birthday bash. You're invited to Hattin Hugo's birthday bash, but keep your wits about you. These are no ordinary twins. Don't be fooled by the bright balloons and shimmering streamers. All that glitters is not gold. Mummy's spoilt little angels have a dangerously devilish side. Maybe you'll think twice next time you are SV. P, whatever that means next up another show to help celebrate 20 years of fear legacy now someone put a sort of summary i guess like a analysis of the logo uh there's different things to look at in the logo of legacy there's the the old maze 7 
Um, there's an old poster of Fright Nights. There's a couple of Fright Nights, lo old Fright Nights logos and current Fright Nights logos. There's a Showtime lo uh, part of the logo. There's another part of the logo. It's a mix of different mazes and different parts of Fright Nights. But they are celebrating 20 years of fear with an awe-inspiring fire and light spectacular like no other. Featuring ferocious fire effects alongside terrifying throwback tracks. This show will take you on a nostalgic journey to past Fright Night's faves, leaving you mesmerised. This is sure to end your night of terror with a bang. Next up, The Crows, who will appear at various mysterious locations from 3pm. Near The Crows, nobody goes. Are they watching? Nobody knows. Myths passed down from generations. Did that just move, or was that your imagination? They roam in their creep and they dead in the night, but they blink and they're gone out of sight near the crows. Nobody goes. Are they watching? No body nails. And of course, you can do the classic thing at Fright Nights, which is ride the rides in their dark. Like the UK's only winged roller coaster, the Swarm. One of Europe's fastest and tallest coasters, Stealth. The 100 foot beyond vertical drop of Saw the Ride. The world's first 10 looping coaster, Colossus. 5G's on in Nemesis Inferno. Diving and swooping over different pieces of track. It's included in the ticket, and you can book online right now. So, that is your Fright Night nice lineup of 2021. Now it's time to share my thoughts overall on the event. Ooh. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about Thought Pat Fright Nights 2021. I wanted to save the analysis until the last maze had been revealed, and it's been revealed as trailers. I'm, I, I'm, should I do a separate video going a bit more detail into trailers? Comment down below, but I'm going to share my thoughts on it anyway, and I'll probably go into a little bit more detail uh, if you do want a separate video on that. Uh, but, first of all, trailers. Love the look of it, love the sound of it. Classic, like I said, classic Studio 13 vibes. Is it going to have what the Asylum and Studio 13 had, which is the iconic Chainsaw Finale? Who knows? Maybe the Chainsaw Finale returns, but we'll see. Uh, but I, I did see a post on social media, like a, I guess like a week or so before the Fright Nights lineup was revealed, uh, just a couple of days ago. And it was a picture of like a, a, a chaperone, an usher at a theatre, uh, stood outside in the dark. Well, not dark, but you know what I mean. So, um, you know, there was, there was hints that maybe something movie related was coming to the park for Fright Nights this year. Um, and we sort of got the idea it was going to be film related, but there we go. Uh, now, obviously, I think we all have an idea exactly where trailers will be located. I think we all have an idea with that. It's going to be uh, located in the jungle escape building. If, now I'm just putting this out there, if it's located in the 4D cinema, then something's definitely going on at Jungle Escape. Uh, but, no, 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 just rule that out straight away. There's no way in God's earth it's not going anywhere but the Jungle Escape building. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. No, uh, hang on, that's a WWE term. We can't use that anymore. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, I think it's pretty clear that Jungle Escape building will be the location for trailers. Obviously, the mazes, the mazes that are returning are exactly as they are. Platform 15, end of the line, location-wise, same place it usually is, in Old Town. Um, and, and, of course, um, Creek Freak Unchained. Um, wow. Uh, sorry, Creek Freak Massacre, sorry. The Unchained bit's around the area, but Massacre is uh, located where the old station and queue line of Loggers Leap was. So, uh, again, very nice to see. My only criticism would be I would like to have seen a couple of mazes at different areas of the park. I would have liked to have seen maybe uh, somewhere where uh, the old Walking Dead Sanctum used to be, maybe something in a massive building there, um, maybe something further down. I mean, if Darren Brown's Ghost Train in the future is going to be closed, you could temporarily use that for a year or two as a maze space if you wanted to. So, again, again, we have to take different things into account when it comes to maze spaces, but you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, very exciting. Obviously, people are a bit angry that the uh, mazes are additional ticket. I, I do get why they're doing it, though. It is to bring in a little bit of extra money just to help them out. But, um, you know, overall... 
it should be interesting to see exactly how that goes and how that goes down. It sounds like all the maze are going to be £10 per person um, online if you book the maze tickets online as well as your tickets for the event. So, uh, very exciting there. Uh, but there we go. That is my analysis of Thought Path Right Now. It's 2021. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you do want me to do a separate video uh, talking about trailers. Um, tell me if you want me to do a separate video in the comments down below of all three mazes. Tell me if you want me to do all three mazes and I will do that. Um, I can drag out the history books for the other two and then trailers do a bit more research into the site, etc. And do a full video on them. But depends if you want that or not. If you're just happy with this video, comment down below. If you want individual analysis of the, of the three mazes comment down below uh, but there we go guys thank you very very much my name is coach shell caitlin on the coast life stay tuned for more videos in the next 48 hours thank you very much and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a fright night fantastic day